Yeah, these are my working tools and materials. So I'll be making use of two deep brown, then two um, carton color. So I'll join four of them together. Then I'll be using this um, buckle for designing. Then my already prepared so. So I got my measurement from the first leg. So I'll be starting from here for this one. End it here. Then this one start from here, you can see it. Then end it here. So the same thing for this side. So this is for here. This one for here. This for here. So the same thing applicable here. So I'll be working on size 43. So the size is written inside the shoe. Size 43. So let's start. You make your knot. Then you start from here. So we are going to work 14 chains. 14 chains. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So continue working till you work 14 chains. So after working 14 chains, you skip one. Crochet on the next single crochet. So you continue working to this point. So at the end. You single crochet on the first two stitches of the sew. Then on the next stitch, single crochet. So then you turn. So once you turn, you skip the first stitch, which is this. Then crochet on the next stitch. Then taking this rough thread. So you continue working to this point. So at the end, you make one chain, then you turn. So once you turn, you continue working, you walk down to this point. Yeah, at the end, you walk on the two stitches of the sew. So you turn, then skip one stitch, continue working. So I'm now on the third row. So you work more nine rows. Yeah, you can see it. So on the twelfth row, so I'm going to skip the two stitches on the sew. On the twelfth row. You will skip this and this, then start working on the next. So you work up to here. So at the end of twelfth row, you make one chain. Then you turn. So here we will walk down till it remains um, four stitches here. So you walk down to this point. Yeah, you can see it's remaining four stitches here. One, two, three, and four. Then you make one chain and turn. So once you turn, you walk more two rows. More two rows. Yeah, you can see I have three rows here. So on the fourth rows of this, make one chain and turn. So you walk on ten row, ten stitches. I mean, you walk on ten stitches. So you walk to this point. 
There you can see it. So at the end, you make one chain and turn. So once you turn, you walk down to this point. Once you reach here, you make one chain and turn. So you walk more six rows, more six rows. Yeah, you can see it. So from here, I have seven rows. I mean, ten rows. Then from here, I have seven rows. From here, I have ten rows. From here, I have seven rows. So at the end, you make one chain. Then you walk down. So at the end, you make 10 chains, 10 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, that's it. So once you walk 10 chain, you fix here, so you crochet on the two stitches of the sole. Then on the next stitch, you make a single crochet, then you turn. So once you turn, you skip the two stitches on the sew, then you crochet on the 10th chains you made. Single crochet. So this is how it looks like you can see it at the end you make one chain you walk down so once you walk down to this point single crochet on the first two stitches of the sew turn skip one stitch you walk up once you reach up here you make one chain and walk down so continue walking till you walk more six rows more six rows yeah you can see it so you make one chain so here we are going to reduce the stitch. On the first stitch, you grab the thread, don't complete a single crochet. On the next stitch, then you finish up single crochet. Then on the next stitch, you make your normal single crochet. Then continue walking down. Walk down to this point. Then skip the first stitch, crochet on the next. That is after walking two stitches on the sew then continue walking up walk up to this point so once you reach here we are going to make another reduction don't complete on the next stitch then finish up your single crochet then make one chain and turn so we are going to make another reduction on the next stitch, you grab the thread, then finish up the single crochet. Continue walking down, single crochet. Walk down to this point. Once you reach here, you crochet on the first two stitches of the sew. Then you walk up, like you see. Then continue walking up. Once you reach up, you also make the reduction. You can see. Then you complete the single crochet, make one chain and turn. So you reduce the stitch again. And now this is the final row.
you can see it you can see the curve then walk down to this point Then you cut it off. Yeah, you can see it. So here we repeat exactly what we did this side. So we repeat it this other side. Yeah, you can see it. Exactly the same thing. So here we are going to work the back belt. Make your knot. Then from here, you count out five stitches. Then start on the sixth stitch. So here we are going to work 33 chains. 33 chains. Continue working. You can see it. So you also count out 5 stitches from here. On the sixth stitch, you make a slip stitch like this. So here we need 10 stitches. But as you can see, we have more than 10 stitches here. Yeah. So because of that, we are going to skip some stitches. You skip this one, crochet on the next. And we will also skip some stitches up here so that we can get the 10th row on the last stitch here. Yeah, so you skip this, crochet on the next. Then you turn. So once you turn, we are going to skip the two stitches on the shoe then crochet on the third the three chains you made so you continue working to this point that you can see it so here we are going to crochet on this first stitch Then here, we are going to skip the next stitch, crochet on the next. Then you turn. So once you turn, you skip the two stitches on the shoe. Then on the next stitch, continue working on the 33 stitches you have. Don't increase, don't reduce. So you continue working to this point so once you reach here you crochet on the first stitch here then skip the next stitch crochet on the next so that you can get the tenth row on the last stitch so you work more nine rows that you can see it that you have total of ten rows Then you make one chain. And cut it off. Then you light it off. Yeah, you can see it. So we are going to work the next belt as the crossing belt. So you make your knot and work 33 chains. That three chains. 
Now you can see it. So you skip the first stitch, crochet on the next. So you continue working to this point. Once you reach, I make one chain and turn back. So you walk two rows. Yeah, you can see it on the third row. I'm now on the third row. So it's remaining 10 stitches. So you make two chains. Skip two stitch. Crochet on the next two stitches. Yeah, you can see the opening. So you make another two chains, count out two stitch, crochet under the remaining stitches. Yeah, you can see the opening. That's it. So you make one chain and turn. So you continue working single crochet. So once you reach on the opening, you walk like this, like this. So you walk two single crochets on the stitch. Then on the hole, you walk another two single crochet. So you continue walking to the end. Now you can see the holes. Then walk to the end. You walk more three rows. You can see it. Then on the next row, we are going to create another two holes like we did on the third row. But before that, you make single crochet on the next four stitches. That's it. Then make two chains, count out two stitches, crochet on the next two stitch. And the next stitch, single crochet. You can see it. Then make another two chains, count out two stitches. So you continue working single crochet. You can see it. You can see it. So walk to the end. Can see it. You make one chain, walk to this point. So you make single crochet, two single crochet on this on the hole. Single crochet on the next two stitches. Then you make two single crochet on the next hole. Can see it. The same hole. Then finish up single crochet on the remaining four stitches. Then make one chain, you can see it. So you work more one row of single crochet to finish. Out of 10 rows, you can see it. So you count out two rows from the back belt, then stitch. That's it. We are going to stitch this one together. So you walk from the second hole from here, yes. From the second hole here. So you stitch together with slip stitch. Remember, we are working from the second stitch down.
So you make the book lose like that. This you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Please subscribe, subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials on how to crochet any kinds of crochet shoes. Thank you. Bye.